Hillsborough Boys and Corian Academy met in Lisburn for an under-15 NIBFA Cup fixture, a tale of two informed sides, Hillsborough in the red and black and Corian in the blue and white stripes. In dry and pleasant playing conditions, Hillsborough started strongly and this strong run from Timothy Orr down the right wing forced an early corner. This quickly taken free kick allowed the next opportunity for Hillsborough. However, they had to be patient in possession and wait for an opportunity to cross. The cross chance fell to Captain Carter Waring, but his cross just couldn't find a teammate at the back post. Another free kick for Hillsborough allowed Robert Geddes the chance to deliver a long ball forward into the box. Cameron Kirkpatrick controlled the ball superbly and got the shot away as he forced the visiting goalkeeper Alex Henderson into the save. Down at the other end, Colian slowly began to get a foothold in the game, but Jack McClure's ball into the box produced a simple save for Simon Fabutski in the Hillsborough goal. Colian came forward yet again clever footwork on the edge of the area from Patrick Kelly set up a shooting opportunity for Bobby Miller but Prabutsky came off his line well to save. Corain were enjoying a fantastic five minute spell and this through ball from Lewis Tosh almost found Reese Watton but the Hillsborough keeper was in inspired form as he came bravely off his goal line again. Into the second half now with the game still scoreless and Hillsborough captain Carter Waring attacked down the right side, winning his side a corner kick. From Hillsborough pressure it was Colain that turned the ball over and set up a dangerous counter attack. Nice pass down the line from Matthew Robinson, played in the pacey Callum Knox, who was challenged from a Hillsborough defender, and Simon Kabutski made another smart save. With 12 minutes on the clock into the second half, it was Carter Waring that was next to shoot, and this looping effort just dropped over the crossbar as we still awaited the opening goal. The Hillsborough captain was having a fine game and yet again Carter Waring tried his luck from distance however this shot didn't trouble Alex Henderson in the Coleraine goal. Patrick Kelly had a free kick for Coleraine which rebounded for him however he sliced his effort and Simon Prabutski was alert and came off his goal line to collect the ball. Down at the other end and again it was Carter Waring that was really threatening for Hillsborough as he picked up possession and drove at the Coleraine defence winning a corner. With the full time whistle not too far off, Coleraine keeper Alex Henderson collected a Hillsborough free kick and played the ball out perfectly for Rafferty Mackay whose long ball ended up at the hands of the home goalkeeper. As both teams searched for the winner, this Coleraine cross from the right wing allowed a shooting opportunity for Aaron Downs who almost guided the ball into the top right corner with this overhead effort. Coleraine were finishing the game strongly and Callum Knox attacked down the right wing and a deflected cross couldn't find the team. The Bansiders played a long ball forward ball sat up perfectly for Patrick Kelly but he couldn't keep his half volley down from the edge of the area. With the game heading to extra time and potentially penalties, Corian won the game right at the death when Jack McClure's cross from the right wing ended up in the bottom corner. At full time it finished Hillsborough boys nil, Corian Academy won.
thought the boys went very well when they were uh, in a, a good quarter inside. Um, but we've done well in our own league, so we just told the boys to go and work as hard as they can. And we've further done that and more than matched it. I think ever getting the first goal is going to go and win the game. And unfortunately for us, it wasn't the wasn't be, but fair play to Korean. They came down and played lovely football, uh, as I knew they would do. Um, but we, we more than matched them, and just a bit disappointing that they had to come away with giving the next round. Yeah, we're getting their subs ready to go again there. Just, um, referee actually blew up there five minutes early because he was mistaken, so we thought it was going straight to the extra time. But no, fair play to Korean. Football's played over in 70 minutes for, for the kids here, and they played right the final whistle. Got a good goal, and um, I say just unfortunate for us that they're the first ones to get the goal. But as I say, the boys are ready for extra time. It was important. The fact was penalties and all during the week, but that wasn't meant to be. And fair play to Andy Law coming down. And, yeah, it's good Korean side and well, we enjoyed the game. Yeah, the boys did very well. Last week we played Warren Point, but they're a very good side and we came back from a 2-0 down and they ended up winning 4-3, so the, the boys great attitude, great commitment. There was a lot of buzz about trading all week and we got ready for this game today and I couldn't fault one of the players here at the end. I thought they were all done super, worked so hard and done all the asking and just unfortunate the result wasn't to be. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something to give uh, to give back to the, the kids. Um, I was lucky enough to have a good Irish League career and, I just finished doing the UFB licence with the, the Korean manager Andy Law, so thoroughly enjoyed it and I passed on the ideas I've learned throughout that really hard week and just whenever I can give back to the kids, I know all, all the coaches think the same, if we can give back something then it's, it's, it's really good for ourselves and the kids, really rewarding, so hopefully it'll make continue and we'll see what the season takes us. Yeah, it's great for the boys, um, they've come up here and they've, they've fought very hard, Hullsborough credit to them, really put the game to them, they worked hard off the ball, uh, made it hard for us to break them down. Before we scored, maybe a bit of a hint of a fluke and a bit of a cross on it, but our boys battled and they went to the final whistle and they got the dust awards at the end around the next round of the cup. Yeah, we, we were chatting in the sideline about uh, what we're going to do next extra time and how we're going to break it down. They, they ended up playing with a sweeper in the second half and he, he just swept the ring up and he done very, very well in his position and we were talking about how we can counteract that. Um, and then obviously we got the goal away a couple of minutes to go, so it's always pleasing and then the boys were done very well to see the game out. I don't know me, but I'm actually good friends with the manager, Michael Gold. Um, He's been involved in life for this season. Uh, I was chatting to him during the week a couple of times. So once we got them through, I spoke to him and we were chatting. They're doing very well in their league, I think. Uh, from right, they're unbeaten in their league. So we knew it was going to be a tough test today um, for the lads, and thankfully they came out the top.